Hi everybody, welcome back to story time. Today is Tuesday and this is toddler story time. So we're gonna grab our shaky eggs or our shaky bottles. If you don't have a shaky egg at your house, you can make one with some kind of beads or, or beans or popcorn in a bottle. So when you shake it, it makes a shaky noise. If you don't want it to be quite so loud, you can put some rice in an empty medicine bottle or something like that and use that for your shaky egg or your shaky bottle. Um, if you want, you can stop by the library and ask for a shaky egg and one of the girls at the desk will give you a shaky egg for story time. If you already have one from before, from the fall or from this spring <laughs> story time, then please don't come and get another one. We just want you to have one, okay? So grab your shaky egg and we're going to start by standing on our feet. Here we go. Today. Okay, grab your scarf or your fabric or your dish towel or washcloth and we're going to wind the bobbin up. Shake it, shake it. Here we go, you ready? Round and round. Wind the bobbin up. Shake it, shake it. Shake all the wrinkles out. 
Here we go. You ready? We're going to scrunch it up and we're going to count to five. So scrunch it up, scrunch it and scrunch it and scrunch it and get it all in there. Here we go. You ready? One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Good job. Good job. All right. Shake it, shake it. We do it again. Scrunch it up. Scrunch it and scrunch it. Get all scrunched up in there. Here we go. We're going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Good job. One more time. Shake it, shake it. Here we go. Scrunch it up. Good job, good job. Here we go. You ready? We're going to count to five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Good job. All right. Shake it. Okay. We are going to read a story. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. It was bedtime, so five little monkeys took a bath. One, two, three, four, five. Five little monkeys and a little rubber duck. Five little monkeys said good night to their mama. There they are, five little monkeys. Night, night, mama. Then five little monkeys jumped on the bed. Oh no. They're jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, what do you think the doctor said? No more monkeys jumping on the bed. And there he is. Oh, he has a boo-boo on his head. He hurt his head when he fell off. So four little monkeys. Oh. Jumped on the bed. Uh-oh, one fell off and bumped his head. Then Mama called the doctor, and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. There's two of them now that have boo-boos on their heads, and three of them standing over here. Mama looks mad. So three little monkeys jumped on the bed, and one fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor, and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. So now three of them have boo-boos, and only two of them don't. So two little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor, and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. There's only one little monkey that doesn't have a boo-boo on her head. So one little monkey jumped on the bed. She fell off and bumped her head. Oh, Mama, she's so frustrated. The Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Look, there's one, two, three, four, Five little monkeys with boo-boos on their heads. Oh, so five little monkeys fell fast asleep. Thank goodness, said Mama. Now I can go to bed. What's she doing? That Mama's jumping on the bed. <laughs> five little monkeys jumping on the bed. All right. Let's get moving. We're gonna do no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Okay, it's monkey time again. Now listen. Charity, New York. Love to jump. We're gonna jump. Yeah, we go. Jump. Five monkeys. Bump his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Jump. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. That is what the doctor said. Oh, four monkeys. Here he goes. Boink. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Jump. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Jump. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. That is what the doctor said. Three monkeys. One fell off. Boink. Mama 
the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Jump! No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. That is what the doctor said. No, two monkeys. Two monkeys on the bed. One pair of boink. Mommy called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Jump! No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Jump! Four monkeys jumping on the bed. Yeah, four monkeys jumping on the bed. Yeah, four monkeys jumping on the bed. That is what the children said. Keep jumping. Don't stop. Yes, four monkeys jumping on the bed. That is what the children said. Oh, we gotta keep on jumping, yeah? Ooh, let's read a story. Maxwell the Monkey Barber. To Maxwell's barber shop for a trim or for a chop. He grabbed his scissors and lowered the chair, ready at nine to cut some hair. There he is, he's the monkey barber, and he has scissors, so he's going to cut somebody's hair. Baboon swung in with curls grown high, a cut to free what lives inside. After many snips, it's less at home and more a place to run a comb. Look at him. He has all those things stuck in his hair. And before you go, might I say, your hair's the best I've seen today. Look at all that hair he cut off. Oh, lion crept in with mane gone wild. Please clip this beast to show my style. Look, he's, he's got so much hair, he's using a rake. That Beastly mane has said goodbye. It's now so sharp, it needs a tie. Look, he's wearing a tie. Look how proud that monkey barber is. He's really proud of his work. And before you go, might I say, your hair's the best I've seen today. Boy, he's got lots of hair on the floor now. Bear lumbered in with a big furry frown. Look at him. He's got a big beard. A trim before I'm laughed from town. Oh, he gave him a mustache. The fur is gone within a flash. I even trimmed your long mustache. Look, the monkey put a banana on his nose like a mustache. And before you go, might I say, your hair's the best I've seen today. Look at all that hair. Elephant slumped and sad and down. My head's so cold with no hairs found. Elephant doesn't have any hair. He just has skin. Hmm, Maxwell looked and found it true. There were no hairs, not one, not two. Come back tomorrow right at three. I'll think of something. Just wait and see. What do you think he's going to think about for the elephant who doesn't have any hair? What was Maxwell going to do? He thought and thought and then he knew. Elephant came back as Maxwell said and waiting right there for, for, there for his head, something fine crafted with care, a lovely wig of soft, warm hair. So he took everybody else's hair and made a, and made a wig for the elephant. And before you go, might I say, your hair's the best I've seen today. Everyone heard of elephants new do, and hair or no hair, they wanted one too. Come on, come one, come all to Maxwell's shop for a wig or for a chop. <laughs> they all wanted a wig after that. Maxwell the monkey barber. I hope you had fun today. It's toddler story time. Listen, put one hand up way up high. Wave goodbye. It's time to go. Wave up high and wave down low. Wave real fast. Uh, wave real slow. Wave goodbye, it's time to go. Wave up high, wave down low. Wave goodbye, I'll miss you so. Mm, love you. Be good listeners and remember, wash, wash, wash your hands. 
See you next week.